Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Live with me, Tariq El Musa. Uh, just kidding, everyone. So I'm going to give it a couple of seconds here while everybody hops on. But today it's all about real estate investing. So whether you're new, whether you're experienced, whether you're trying to go from uh, zero deals to one deal, whether you're trying to go from 10 deals to 20 or trying to go from 300 to 600, I am here to help you guys. Uh, so this is the, the place where you want to ask all of your questions. And I know you guys have a million questions. And the only way you guys are going to find success in this business is by getting answers to those questions. And there's two ways to get answers to questions. One way is ask me, right? And I can give you the answers. And that's a shortcut. The other way is to figure it out yourself. And, that, and that's how I built the business. But it takes a lot more time. So utilize the knowledge of other people utilize the experience of other people utilize the skill sets of other people so just take everything that i know and everything that i've learned and slowly start implementing it into your life and that's how you that's how you emulate success right you want to find a target and i actually have a book coming out next year and it's all about emulating and enhancing well what does that mean find something that you want to do or find a person that's done what you want to do and then mimic the things that, that they did to get there. An example of this is, let's just say hypothetically, if there was a kid out there who's a great athlete, wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, uh, instead of going to a baseball game and wearing the baseball jersey, I'm talking about studying your favorite player, find out how long that player played, find out what training camps that player went to, what schools that player went to, what college, and what kind of fitness program they're on. So really study what you're trying to become, if that makes sense. So. Think about in your mind right now, who do you want to be? Like, what do you want to become? And you start working towards that goal. So if you close your eyes and you're like in your mind, you're 30 pounds lighter, you're getting more sleep, you have more free time, you're making more money, you can accomplish all of those things. You just have to set targets and you have to set up a plan. So let's start, let's go ahead and kick the Q&A off. So in the chat box, everybody, um, ask me some questions and don't be scared. There's no such thing as a dumb question. All right, all right. And by the way, I, I noticed that our Facebook group just uh, recently hit about 5,000 people, so that's exciting, everyone. Hey, Tarek, what do you think about land wholesale? I think it's a fantastic idea if you can get a good deal on land. But here's something important. Whatever you wanna go after, go after it with everything you have. So if you wanna wholesale land, all you wanna focus on is wholesaling land, okay? But one thing to consider right now, wholesaling land could be a little bit more difficult because there's, you know, a little bit less building going on because of the market and the rates. So, you know, th there's a lot of research you want to do before you jump into that. So thank you for that question, Brenda. All right, guys, what, what kind of other questions do we have here? Okay, well, I don't know if this thing is frozen or you guys just don't have questions for me today. All right, there's a question. There we go. What's up? Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Tarek. Ashley and I will see you in Scottsdale. Oh, the Flipping Summit. It's going to be so much fun. And if you're on right now, or if you're listening to this, you got to come out to the Flipping Summit. Uh, it's April 28th, April 29th, Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, and I, you can book. Yeah, there it is right there. There's the link right there in the chat, theflippingsummit.com. It is going to be so much fun, you guys. It's going to be a life-changing event. So if you can make it, make it. Um, but it says, we need advice on taxes. We we owe almost 70000 right now. We need to figure out ways to reduce it. Oh, Jeff, the absolute best way to reduce taxes is through investing in real estate and its depreciation. So, so Jeff, this company right here, TEM Capital, what I want you to do is go to temcapital.co. And if you're an accredited investor, you can actually partner with me on these real estate deals and you get all the depreciation as an owner. So the absolute best way to limit your tax liability is by buying more real estate, but holding it and not flipping it. So I learned about this in 2015. Um, I had one of my biggest earning years ever. Like it was a really big year and I met with my CPA and I found out I owed millions and millions of dollars in taxes. And I was like, well, that's that's a lot of money, like in one year. And I said, well, what do people do? People just pay these taxes. He's like, no, they don't pay these taxes. Like, well, what do they do? He goes, well, they invest in real estate. I said, well, what the heck do you think I'm doing? 
He goes, well, you're flipping real estate. You're not keeping real estate. And that's when it hit me. When you're flipping houses, you are paying a ton of taxes. But for me, the reason I flip houses is so I can buy real estate because flipping houses is the income. It, it provides the capital so I can go buy long-term property. So Jeff, if you want to really work on that tax liability, uh, you have to be an accredited investor, but check out temcapital.co. We actually have an investor meetup tonight in, uh, in uh, West Hollywood. There were almost 300 people registered, so it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Shunde, how, how does an introvert jump into wholesaling? You know, listen, in life, we have to grow, okay? We, we, have, to, we have to become comfortable being uncomfortable. You have to learn to push yourself. And I've been thinking about this word a lot lately, pain. And, and here's the truth about pain, whatever it is. The more pain in your life that you've gone through, the more pain you've experienced, the more you can do and the faster you can find success. So let me explain that. If you want to be a real estate investor, you can find success over two years studying two hours a day, or you can find success in 90 days working 12 hours a day. But which one's more painful? It's more painful to work 12 hours a day for 90 days but you have a much greater return. So the greater the pain, the more success. Another example of this, that you wanted to lose weight. Can you go for a 20 minute walk every day for six months and lose weight? Yes. Could you also go run 10 miles a day, seven days a week in three weeks and lose weight? <laughs> yes, which one's more painful? Well, it's more painful to do more in a shorter period of time, but you find your success faster. So Shud, I would really urge you to, to create growth in your life, get on, get comfortable being uncomfortable, come to the live event, start talking to people. And here's my advice for introverts. People love talking. So if you're an introvert, just ask questions and that's all you got to do. Like, look at me, I'm here talking to nobody, right? I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. But if, if you see me in a sales conversation or in a business meeting, I'm not talking. I'm asking questions and I'm staying quiet. So shun questions like, you know, how long have you been a real estate investor? Let them talk. If you're talking to a homeowner, how long have you lived at this address? Oh, well, we've lived here for three years. Three years, fantastic. Well, how did you happen to pick this area? Oh, we loved the schools, the, the, our, our kids went there, they're wonderful schools. So it's literally just asking questions. Um, and if, if, if that's too much for you to start, you can literally run a flipping business off of text messaging. So if you're, if you're, uncomfortable like actively reaching out and talking to people utilize technology we do deals all the time fully over text messaging all right i hope i answered that one sean i see adam quick what's up adam how's it going buddy brian barnes how do i flip houses i have no money okay so if you want to buy fix and flip houses and you have no money you need to raise private money. Private money is money from other people. So it could be your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your friend, your neighbor. It doesn't matter. If you're unable to raise private money, that's okay. It doesn't mean the deal's gone. Instead of fixing and flipping, you can wholesale the property. Because when you're wholesaling real estate, you don't buy the real estate. It doesn't take any money. So you're really selling contracts. And it's a great way to build a capital base so you can get that capital and go out there and actually fix and flip houses. Uh, to become an accredited investor, definitely verify this, but to the best of my knowledge, an accredited investor uh, is an individual with an income of 200,000 or more over the prior two years, uh, or a net worth of $1 million outside their primary residence or for a joint filing, a household income of 300,000 or more for the last two years, uh, or a $1 million net worth outside the primary residence. Alicia, if you were to work with a realtor to help you find flips, what sort of information would you expect from the realtor? You are never going to find a realtor to find you flips. I'm gonna say this again. You are never going to find a realtor to find you flips. The way you work with realtors is you work with the agent that's representing the house. So instead of working with one realtor trying to buy all these houses, you're gonna work with hundreds of realtors trying to buy the house that they're representing. 
So hiring a real estate agent that's going to go on the MLS and send you properties, the odds of you getting a deal are almost zero. And if you get a deal, it's, I mean, it's probably not going to be a deal. So you really need to learn where to spend your time. And guys, if you enjoy these, these Facebook lives, you know, I built an entire homeschooled coaching program to teach you guys. And if, if you haven't taken advantage of your free strategy session yet, you, you really should, because, you know, my goal is to, to kickstart and, and, and really kick off your real estate investing career. So we're here for you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at Alicia. Uh oh, sorry. This is moving on me, the comments. Pete Davidson has a condo up for sale. The 1592 square foot property includes two bedrooms, three bathrooms. The chat keeps moving on me, guys. Sorry. I don't know why it does that. It's very annoying. Uh, views of the New York City skyline from the private terrace. Located luxury accolades building. The condo is also. Close proximity to Staten Island Ferry for easy commutes into Manhattan. Pete Davidson reduced his sales price. Staten Island caught by two hundred grand. Let's buy. Him. Oh, you're talking about Pete Davidson, the uh, uh, the uh, the influencer. Got it. Got it. Uh, that's funny. Oh my god, this is driving me up the wall. Okay, there we go. Okay. Morning, James. Brenda, I currently work with an investor. Sorry, you guys, the comments, it just scrolls without while I'm reading it. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. It's very annoying. So if anyone on my team is seeing this, we got to stop that. It's driving me nuts. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? Okay, I currently work with an investor. He has many properties and now looking for more. How would I wholesale with him? Uh, you want to wholesale to him or wholesale with him, Brenda? If you want to wholesale to him, you have to go out there and find deals, lock them up under contract and assign those contracts to your investor, which is something that a lot of people do. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Genevieve, I have not pro bought properties from auction since I think 2011 because I was going up against so many hedge funds with zillions of dollars. So I decided to go directly to homeowners and real estate agents. Okay. Do you recommend creating an LLC for a single... Do you recommend creating an LLC for a single rental property for asset protection? Home and mortgage are currently in my personal name. You know, for liability reasons, I can't really give tax and legal advice. Um, you know, I, I use LLCs myself, but I, I would say if you were to talk to a CPA or lawyer, they would give you the best advice on that. Okay, what else we got here? Um, Alicia, I am a realtor wanting to work with investors. That's why I asked. Oh, so Alicia, then what you would do is you would have to do the outreach to all the real estate agents. And if you're eight, I mean, this is a different conversation. So if you want to sell properties to investors, they're looking for investors. So you just got to network with real estate agents, find opportunities and, you know, figure out what price you can get those for. And then if the, the listing agent, you know them or if they say yes, then you bring your buyer in. But I think it's a great idea. Shun said, I froze. He didn't catch the end. Uh, Shun, I was just saying, if all of that still makes you too uncomfortable, work on growth, work on growing. But in the meantime, you can run an entire business off text messaging. So use your phone. Laura, question. What are the pros and cons of getting a California uh, real estate license to invest in real estate? The pros, you get access to the MLS. You get to see all the data, the property history, the real estate agent information, uh, the private remarks, uh, all the stuff that the public doesn't get. Uh, the the only con is that you have more liability if you're investing and you're licensed. So it's all about disclosing. So you have to make sure you're really good with your disclosures. 
Hey, Tammy, look forward to seeing you at the Flipping Summit, too. It's going to be a blast. Jennifer, do you think wholesaling is the best way to get cash to start flipping properties? Absolutely, 100%. Oof, I'm talking today. I'm sweating already. All right. What else we got today? Are we running out of questions? You guys bored of me yet? Who's watching the new Flipping El Moose's tonight? It's going to be a good episode. You guys are going to like tonight. Tonight's going to be good. Hey, I, I need some help. By the way, if anyone on right now has seen the new show, The Flipping El Moose's, I can't tell you how much I would love it if you went to IMBD, really went to IMBD and gave us a nice comment and a 10 star rating. I would appreciate it so much, you know, and, and I'm, I, I couldn't tell you how much I'd appreciate that. So IMBD, uh, you have to register to get an account, but I would, I would love any positive ratings. All right, you guys are liking the show. That's good. Uh, Jennifer. What about taking a HELOC on a property, trying to figure out where to start? Absolutely, a HELOC is a great idea. Jennifer, the best place to start is joining Homeschooled because that's your shortcut to getting all the answers and to finding success. And time is our most valuable resource. It's not money, it's time. So, so you really want to kickstart things and make sure you can move fast. Adam Quick, what are the top three top three things new people can learn at homeschool? I mean, there's a zillion things they can learn, but number one, it's about being a part of a community and, and getting that mindset of what it takes to be an entrepreneur. So it's the mindset too. You're gonna learn how to wholesale properties, how to find them, who to call, who to text, what to say, how to say it. You're gonna learn how to do the transactions. You're gonna learn how to fix and flip. You're gonna learn how to build a rental portfolio. So anything real estate house flipping, you're going to learn it in homeschool. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do with houses. We're going to teach you. Is it ethical to wholesale as a realtor? And if so, how do you find the buyers? It is absolutely ethical to wholesale as a realtor and to find the buyers. It just takes a little bit of research. You find out who is buying investment properties in that area. You get their names, you get their phone numbers and you call them. And then a lot of times if they're doing business in that area already, they want to do more business and they're very excited that you call. Jeff, we just sold two flips and have two more going now. There have been a few other properties we had to pass on because we need more money. Tarek, help us. Okay, Jeff. Well, we never pass on properties because we don't have money. We wholesale them. So here's the thing. There's always opportunity to make money with a house. You can flip it or you can wholesale it, but we never pass because we don't have money because you don't need money to wholesale. Yeah, Adam Quick there. Thanks, Adam, in the chat. So Adam Quick is one of our homeschooled students and he is an absolute rock star. Adam, in the chat, why don't you, why don't you tell everybody how many deals you've been doing? He's one of our rock star homeschooled students. So tell us in the chat, how many deals have you done, Adam? Uh, Brenda, how do I get into homeschool? You just want to set up a strategy session in the chat. We put a link. You just click the link and you book your call. Yeah, you too, Jennifer. Ch check it out. Check out, uh, d get your strategy session uh, and they'll go over everything on the call. And if it looks good, you'll be on, you'll be on live with me in a couple days. It'll be a lot of fun. What time do you start your day? Do you work out? How many hours do you put in a day on business? Alicia Ochoa. Okay. Um, so I start, I'll just tell you guys my, my routine. I start my day uh, every morning at 5 a.m. Um, from 5 until about 6.30 in the morning, I check my emails. I read the Wall Street Journal. I, I check on what's happening in the world. I check my social media and I get ready for the day. That's 5 to 6, 6.15. 6 6.15, I hop in the shower. I get ready. 6.35, I get my protein shake. 6.40, I'm on my way to the gym. I arrive at the gym at 6.55 a.m. I get out of my car. I walk in. I'm on the treadmill by 7. I do the treadmill from 7 to 7.10. I lift weights from 7.10 to 8. I do abs from 8 to 8.10. I get back on the treadmill from 8.10 to 8.20. I get home at 8.35. I have my protein shake at 8.40. I rush to get ready for the day, and my first calls normally start at about 
uh, 9 to 9.30 in the morning. Uh, and then from there, I'm working straight 9.30. If I don't have the kids, I'll normally work until about 7, 7.30 at night. Uh, and then after 7, 7.30, I do check my emails every half an hour until I fall asleep for urgent things. Uh, so really, I'm running from 5 a.m. until about 11 p.m. every day. Every day. Um, so I get about six hours of sleep and I get about 18 hours of grinding. So that's my life. All right, all right. Adam did a hundred flips in six years, man. It's so incredible. It feels so great to be a dad again. I just so obsessed with my little guy. Before I hopped on this call, I was playing with him downstairs. He's adorable. Adam quick, the amount of stuff I learned from Tarek and homeschooled is incredible. And I'm still learning a year later. Best investment I ever made. Oh, thanks Adam. Yeah, we, we're going to do a lot of big things, buddy. Adam actually did some investment uh, investing with me at TEM Capital. So we, we bought some real estate together. Okay. Jennifer, I missed your thing about if owning homes in Texas, is there a recording to see it? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what that one is, Jennifer, sorry. Uh, I think it is. Simon or Simone. Hi, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio market and have a loaded question for you. What's your thoughts on SFH new builds versus fix and flips? What's the main pros and cons of each from your perspective and experience? Do you think it's better to focus on buying holds in the current market? Man, so yeah, that is a loaded question and it would, it would take me a long time to answer it. But here's the thing. I'm a huge fan of developing when the prices are expected to go up because during the time that you're building, you're actually making money. Okay. The worst time to build is when prices are going down because as time goes on and you're building, if the value is dropping, look at what happens by the time the house is done, you've lost money in, in, in uh, more challenging markets. My favorite thing is fix and flips that are extremely fast because if you can condense the time frame of the project, you really minimize your risk. The longer you hold it, the more risk you have because a lot more things can change. Now, in any market, I like buy and hold real estate because when it comes to long-term real estate investing, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So we always wanna be placing capital in the market. I hope that answered your question. Single family house. All right, guys, well, I think, uh, do we have any more questions? Well, I think that's it. Well, today was fun. I, I hope everybody had a good time. And um, you guys, listen, you guys, if you're jumping, I mean, I got 5,000 people in this Facebook group. Um, you know, we have many people listening, showing up every week. My question to you is, is what is stopping you from making the decision to take the action and actually get started with real estate investing. Okay, that's my biggest question. I don't understand why people wanna do something, they think about doing something, they watch about doing something, but then they don't actually do it. So I urge you more than ever, it is time to get off the sidelines and start learning this business because one of the greatest opportunities of our lifetime is, 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 is on the way. And when that opportunity comes, we wanna be ready. So book your strategy session, come to the Flipping Summit. Uh, and if you're an accredited investor, come partner with me at TEM Capital. Other than that, this was fun, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Q&A and I will see everybody in a week or two. Talk to you soon.